All right, fellas, coolest car from back in the day, the DeLorean Marty McFly drove or the Magnum P.I. Ferrari? Magnum P.I. DeLorean. Magnum P.I. Why? One, it was Tom Selleck was the coolest guy on television. He was tall, and he had the top off, and he was in Hawaii. Ferrari. Uh, time machine. It went back in time, dude. And then it went forward in time, and then it went way back in time, and then it went forward in time again. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to make this one thing, but as a brother, I don't want to go back then. <laughs> Everyone says things were better back in the old days, but is that true? To find out, we pitted some supercars of old against some weenie cars of now in a segment we call Icon versus Econ. This company was on top of the world, the master of the universe in 1980. It won all these races. It was the toast of Europe, and it took a dumb TV show to make this car, the Ferrari 308 GTB or GTS, an Icon. And here it is. This is my Icon. One man and his mustache, huh? It's a four valve, it's an 85. An 85 Quattro Vivoli with the fuel injection, about 245 horsepower, the fastest that these cars ever got. Weighs about 2,800 pounds. This was the beginning of the line of mid-engine V8 Ferraris that wind up with the Celestial 458 Italia that we love so much. This car may be beautiful, but it is slow as a dog. And to prove it, I'm gonna beat you in a race with an economy car. I've brought a 2010 Toyota Camry. This is the most boring car known to man. My hand just fell asleep. Yes, it probably did. Well, I have a couple of things to uh, say about that. I don't want to hear them. Yeah. No, of I'm going to show you my you iconic car. No, oh, fine. My favorite car of all time is not a supercar. It's the first car that ever made me like cars. This is the 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. When I first saw these doors go up, I, I knew that there was something about cars that was more than just getting you from point A to point B. Well, now I know it deserves the death penalty. This car has a chassis and a suspension designed by Colin Chapman of Lotus. It has a stainless steel body fiberglass chassis. It weighs 2,700 pounds, and it has the engine in the right place. Words fail me to describe how much I hate this car. It was it, it was made by, you know, prison convicts in Dunmurray, Ireland. Uh, what could possibly go wrong there? It was funded by narco cocaine money. Uh, 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 maybe words don't fail me after all. And I'm going to beat your icon. Your slow icon. It's not slow, it's light. It's leisurely at best. And uh, I'm gonna beat it with this, the Toyota Sienna SE minivan. This thing is faster than your so-called sports car. You know what, let's take it to the track. What do you say? Ew. To settle the score, we decided to race our icons down a quarter mile strip against the economy vehicle. Here we go. Preloading. Beat a Ferrari. Oh my god, he got the jump. Come on, Camry! He's winning! Oh, I got him. No, I got him. Here's the pass. I'm gonna take him! Oh my god, it's a photo finish. I got him. I got him to the very end. <laughs> hey, you can kiss my kid's ass. Is it a bad sign that the speedometer only goes up to 85 miles an hour in this car? Oh my god, when they said this car was slow, they weren't kidding. Positively smoked. And the lead keeps on growing. There's 50 yards. There's 60 yards. 70 yards. And I hit top speed on the speedometer. 85 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> now the mighty have fallen. So pathetic.
probably could have uh, called this one, but the Camry beat the Ferrari. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. disappointed. The Camry only has uh, not very much, 20, 30 more horsepower than the Ferrari. It's a lot heavier, and it beat the Ferrari. Yeah, I just want to point out. I, I want to point one quick thing out. If you are driving a Camry, you should still feel like a loser. Don't, <laughs> don't for one moment I claim this is a victory. Yeah, don't, don't bring that around. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, still losers. And uh, <laughs> got it. that important clarification in mind. Uh, we did not race around the road course, though. In a straight line, yes, the Camry might be a tick faster, but this thing would have eaten the Camry for right. a lot. I say we do it again because I think a Camry will smoke this thing on the road course. I think the no, van will smoke the van this on the road too. course, yeah. too. All right, but the car still looks good yeah. after 30 years, yeah. right? Well, it looks good. This The DeLorean still looks cool, too. I mean, oh. even getting smoked... <laughs> shut up, Dan. Even getting smoked by a minivan does not discourage me from still wanting to own one of... Because it's this yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a great That is oven. awesome. But see, the cool thing about it is I try to fit in there, and it got a space for your head yeah. that I saw you get into, but then there's nowhere to put my legs, and there's just nothing... Well, there's some place to put my legs, but this, no matter what, when you pull up, that is cool. The point is, is this was a slug even by <laughs> early 80s standards, and this at least was good for its day. When this was new, it made 10 horses horsepower less than a Corvette. A Corvette was a yeah, piece of oh, crap I know. in 1981. Well, everything was a piece yeah, of crap right. in 1981. All right. Not the music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should we play us out a little cool in the gang? All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Car Show.